G'day guys, today I'm going to show you how to install IIS on Windows Server 2012 R2. So to do this, you're going to want to be in the Server Manager, and in the top right hand corner, click on the Manage button, and then scroll down to Add Roles and Features. And you want to click on that. Then you'll be shown that before you begin screen you can just click next in the next part you want to select your installation type and that will be role based installation click next select your server which we've only got one so click next then you want to scroll down in the server roles and tick iis or web server iis i mean right there and then it'll do this click add features select next then if you want to add more features on top of this you can add them here hit next and then under the web services you can have a look at all the different web services that you want to add and select any extras by default it's just got some default ones I'm going to add FTP as well then select next then you'll have the little config page read the configuration and select install so now it'll do the installation process, which depending on the speed of your server could take anywhere from 30 seconds to 5 or 10 minutes. Hopefully it's just 30 seconds because you have a quick server. And you can close this while it's running if you want to, but you don't have to, you can just leave it opened. And once the installation is finished, you'll see that it's finished, you can hit close. Then if you open up Internet Explorer, and go to http um, colon backslash backslash localhost once it loads so yep localhost which just makes it look at the server you should get this little screen which is showing you that IIS is installed and running on this server so you can also now open the IIS or information, Internet Information Services Manager. So I'll pin that to the start, open it. And if we open it up, you'll see the default website, which is that website that we're looking at on localhost. So as you see, default website, and that's running on port 80. So port 80 is the default HTTP port. So when you put HTTP, it's always looking at port 80. Just see if we navigate to port 80, it's still port 80. Oh, it's still HTTP, I mean. And in here too, you can open the File Explorer. So by right-clicking on the website and saying File Explorer, it will take you to that little website, which there you can see it on the C drive. So anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos, and I'll talk to you soon.